So I got it jacked up. Hopefully this is going to be tall enough. Otherwise I'll have to take it back down and shorten the chain. I was going to shorten the chain out here and hook this like up here more. But this little pin will not fit through one of these little links. So I have to get a shorter piece of chain. But uh, otherwise, the thing is a lot lighter. I'll tell you what, this thing is a lot lighter than the other one. This thing feels flimsy comparing to the one I was using. But uh, so we're going to toodle this up in the air some. And hopefully slip it on inside of her. And hopefully it fits. I'm going to have a little beverage. I got a feeling it ain't going to go tall enough. So I'll have to take it back down. But. <laughs> How are you supposed to roll this thing? I feel like my other one rolled better than this. Ooh. Stay there. The old girl. Hope we don't run out of plywood under the car before we need uh before we get the motor where we need to be. At least with this one, you can lower this thing a lot more easier than you could with the other thing. in that heater over there. Have to, have to keep her this way to get by the heater hauser. Well, I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking, I was hoping to not to spend more money. I could use these exhaust manifolds that came off a 94 Chevy. But they don't fit. I'm thinking that's what my problem is. So I'm pretty sure I need to take them all back off. Take them off. And then I'm going to put it back down in there. And then uh, hopefully I can just look on the Hamburg, the Jalopy Journey journal. And then I can find... You can find a lot of information there. Thanks to our peak telling me about that. So then it, <clears throat> I can find what other people have been using. And then I can use them to put on here to make this all work. That's my plan. So I'm going to take these off and I'm going to re-put it back in. Exhaust, exhaust manifolds off because they were not going to work. And I read on the hemp that it wasn't going to work. And then I had to take the distributor out too. I was thinking, I guess, for some reason that I was trying to use it, I guess. I don't know. Not stupid. So, yeah, that had to come out because all this bracket tree stuff was hitting. And I can't, this is too fancy of one, I think, to use anyways. I'm going to need to get a more uh, modern unit or older school unit for this uh, situation. I need to take this off and this off and then this off when I get there. But I'm going to try to put it in now. <sighs> I heard through a grapevine that I can use this manifold, TBI manifold. I get an A dapper kit on here to put a carburetor on. Then I don't have to take that off. Hope, hoping that's what I can do. That's my plan. So, I'm going to try to put this in there now and see if, it, see if I got enough room now. I really didn't want to take it any apart anymore. But alright, we're going to try this.
Well, it's in there. This side went in right away. Then I think I was a little kitty wampus. So I couldn't... You still get your hand right here on this side. Now it's a little kitty wampus, so I couldn't get it to set in this motor mount over here. So I jacked and I cried, I jacked and I pried. And I prized up. See, this side's just a little bit is tighter you can get the valve cover off but you can't get your hand down in there but i got it uh i just uh, had the motor and i just kind of pushed it in there and it just kind of fell right down in the holder but for some reason that side of the body is tighter than that side but i got in the motor mount holes that was in the frame that's what they said to use with the jam co uh motor mount kit for this I don't know we'll stand in front of it here and we'll see because if it looks if it looks uh, straight across I don't think so I'll have to get the back end uh, jacked up some so that it doesn't have all the weight on the front there for right now while it sits in there till what do the it's gonna be tight for this river too. I'm thinking. I don't know. I tried to read up to see if anybody had uh, pounded a hole in here or cut a hole and to make it fit, but she under that pink rag down there. So I guess we'll have to see when it comes to that part how we're gonna do that. Could try to slide the old one in and see if it does fit. Or maybe I'll just leave it like that. I'll have to order one up. Hopefully this manifold will work with this. That's what they say. So, uh... I was going to carry on and start on the floor project next. But it might be more beneficial to have a training unit that I can figure out how i got to move my floor or anything to work with it. Because right now, if I take the rest of the floor out, a person could just be pretty simple. You get the train lined up from inside of the car almost. I could put this new rocker in on that side. Uh, well, I'll wait for the one for this side because that doesn't need to... Uh, those can go in at any time. And even without this rocker, this door shut is pretty good for what she is. Still needs some loving. Well, we got that checked off, so that's a good win to have that in there. Makes a person want to keep moving forward on the progress on because you can see a big thing got done now. So I don't know if we're going to do the floor next, part of the floor, or if we're going to do the convert the wheels over to uh, discs instead of drums or fronts. I don't know if we're gonna, which we're going to do first. We're going to have to do some more research on some other stuff. And uh, don't kill me down in the comments too bad. Just a small town guy here, you know, trying to work on his old car. He drug all the woods, has sat, sat since 1960. And I got it free from my uncle, and there was some dead raccoons in when I got it. So, pretty nice, pretty nice unit. Talk to you later, bye.